I'm gonna teach you real quick what the difference between a butterfly needle and an IV catheter needle are because there seemed to have been a lot of confusion on one of my videos from last week. For context, the video is about when my patients asked me to use a butterfly needle to start their IV catheter, which is not possible, but people took it as a lack of empathy instead of a lack of physical possibility, and that's just not the case. These are butterfly needles, and these are IV catheter needles. Butterfly needles are most commonly used for blood draws in patients with small, fragile, hard to reach, or squiggly veins. The reason that a butterfly needle would be more suitable for those types of patients is that they are typically shorter and smaller in gauge than a straight needle would be. And they also have these flexible butterfly wings that give the user more control and stability when placing the needle. However, butterfly needles are not always shorter or smaller in gauge. They can come in all different sizes and I'll show you a comparison. Trigger warning, needles, but for example, the orange one is a 25 gauge and the green one is a 21 gauge. And here's that same 21 gauge butterfly needle next to the yellow 24 gauge IV catheter. The IV catheter is clearly much smaller. I feel like a lot of the confusion stems from this because just because you got a butterfly needle doesn't always necessarily mean you need a smaller needle. Another hot topic of conversation on that video was whether or not butterflies could be used to start IV catheters and the answer is no. That is because an IV catheter is the bendy straw piece that goes around the needle and not the needle itself. Butterfly needles don't have that bendy straw piece around them, so when we take the needle out, nothing stays in its place. Butterflies can be used for short-term IV access, but that's gonna be stuff like when you're going to the clinic for your monthly medication infusion, or you're getting an outpatient CT scan and all they need to give you is the IV contrast. If you're going to the ER or being admitted to the hospital, you need long-term IV access, which is why a butterfly needle wouldn't be an option. And the reasoning for that is because when you're in the hospital, it's usually because something is wrong with your body. So we need to be prepared for all of the other things that could go wrong with your body. If you go unresponsive, if your heart stops beating, if you start having a stroke, we need to be able to give you fast acting, life-saving medications, and that's going to be through your veins. And no, we cannot use a butterfly needle to give you those life-saving medications because starting an IV on a patient that is no longer with us is not easy and if you do actually have very small fragile veins it's going to be much much harder and then that only leaves us with the option of an io and you're not going to like that one if you are the type of patient that has small fragile veins and iv catheters truly don't work for you we have other options we have pick lines we have iv ultrasound we have midlines it doesn't just stop at IV catheters. I hope that all made sense and cleared some stuff up. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask because I promise that your nurses are not trying to be mean by giving you an IV catheter instead of a butterfly. We just can't.